So this question, it's a uh, it's an ideal gas law question. It's a, another topic that you might have seen in chemistry, and uh, we also cover it. And one thing that I will tell you that um, the treatment of material, it uh, it might the way in which it might be different in a physics class compared to a chemistry class, especially, is um, is it's the form of the equation you use. So when you look at ideal gas law, in your chemistry class, you might have seen this form. Pressure times volume is equal to lowercase n times r times t. And in fact, I think your textbook still uses that form. The form that I prefer is not this, but rather the one that you will see me use con consistently, both in your homework, in my lecture, <laughs> that's the pressure times volume is equal to capital N for number of molecules times Bo uh, Boltzmann constant times a T. And really the distinction is that when you are using this form, you have to introduce the idea, the idea of Avogadro's number and the idea of mole. And I I hate arbitrary numbers. And from my perspective as a physicist, Avogadro's number is an arbitrary number that chemists came up with for their own reasons. Nature doesn't care about Avogadro's number. <laughs> so, um, so, um, so that's why I prefer to use this form. And all your questions will give you information in terms of number of molecules and uh, ask you in terms of like that, um, that's the reason. So let me use the second form. So they've told you the number density, not molar density, and then it's given you pressure uh, in weird unit. This is actually equal to Pascal, so it's fine. In this space, what is the temperature here? Ah, yeah, so it looks like I've been given everything except for the temperature in the ideal gas law. So I can just uh, solve for temperature. Temperature is pressure um, times, uh, let me do it this way. I'm gonna do pressure divided by Boltzmann constant. And instead of writing volume separately, I'm going to write down the number of molecules per volume. Combine it this way so that I can make use of the numbers they've given us here. So if I calculate pressure divided by these quantities, I should get temperature in Kelvin. So since I'm using all from alpha, I'll just uh, plug in all the weird units that they're giving us. 2.7 times 10 to the power of 10, minus 10, Newton per meter squared, divided by Boltzmann constant. Um, one of the advantage of Wolfram Alpha is that it'll just look up the constants for you. For the number density, I have 1.2 times 10 to the power 11, plus 11, um, in the unit of meter uh, to the minus three, so you know, number per volume. Um, yeah, so when I put that in, even though there's no Kelvin in there, some of the, uh, well, Boltzmann constant contains Kelvin. Uh, actually, Boltzmann constant is another of arbitrary constants because we didn't have sense to define temperature in unit of joules per particle. <laughs> but I'll ex I will won't exclude the Boltzmann constant from uh, this class because it's a very common constant that we physicists do use in thermodynamics and um, and statistical mechanics. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's a, a relatively simple application of ideal gas law once you realize the question is an application of ideal gas law. <laughs>